Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and we've got something that we haven't had in a while, and that is a bundle over on the Unity Asset Store. And this one is an interesting bundle. I wasn't actually going to cover it because, quite frankly, it is so small. But then I thought, eh, I'll just make a short video. So that's what I'm doing today. This is the $1 Quick Start Asset Bundle. Basically, you can get $300 worth of assets for a buck. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good deal, actually. So we're going to take a look at the bundle itself. Again, going to be a pretty short video, but there's actually a decent amount in this bundle. So you see here, there's one tier, one buck. It's only $1. You can give them more if you want, for some reason. Uh, there's going to be a little, just under five days left in this particular bundle. And you're going to see here, you're getting, uh, that does look to be 8, 9, 10, 11 assets for $1. Let's do a quick run through of those assets that you are getting for your single solitary dollar. Obviously, this is on the Unity Asset Store, but you could use these in other engines, potentially. The first one we've got here is Spum. Uh, this is the 2D pixel unit maker. Basically, it is like a paper doll uh, unit maker. So you can basically create characters, export them out as sprite sheets, uh, dress them up in a variety of different gear, use different settings for them. You can have animations for them. Basically, it is a way of creating 2D character sprites, uh, which can then be exported out and used in uh, other engines, potentially, if you wish to. Uh, but obviously, inside of Unity would be their preferred mechanism. Uh, then we have a GUI pack. Uh, this one is the uh, Cartoon uh, GUI pack. Again, if you need a UI with a cartoony type style, it's icons and layouts, and it's a nine patch format, so uh, it will scale with your um, you know resolution independent way. Uh, we got the low poly cartoon house interior again, low polygon style. All the stuff you see inside of a house. We probably have a summary image over here somewhere. Yeah, so there you see. Uh, bowls and walls and decorations and furniture and so on, all in a low polygon art style. Uh, next up, we have the procedural walk animation. Uh, it is a way of uh, adding animations in. It was used in the War of the Worlds games, potentially. Uh, it's for doing, you know, instead of animated, it's procedurally generated, can work across many different surfaces. surfaces. Uh, interesting project there. And uh, we have another asset pack. This is the Tiny Toon RTS set. You can get an idea of the contents there. Again, a low poly art style. Uh, then we have Smart Lighting 2D. Uh, this is for creating, again, dynamic lights in a 2D world. I did think Unity got this functionality recently in like Unity 6.0 or 6.1 or something. I may be wrong on that one. Let me know in the comments down below. But as you can see, dynamic lights for your 2D game. Uh, there's a lot of products out there like this one. This one does seem to be quite popular. Uh, as you see here, 217 votes, five stars. So um, if you need to add dynamic lights to your 2D games, could be a good pickup there. Next up, we have the first of two shooter kits. This one is for multiplayer shooters. If you want to create an FPS style game, this is the scaffolding you need to create said style of game, uh, both with real players and bots online multiplayer. So uh, obviously it provides all of the various different things you need. Works with built-in ERP and HDRP. So if you are looking to create a multiplayer shooter. This is kind of like, again, a framework to start with. Uh, next up, we have the scene switcher. Uh, this is for switching between scenes. It says it all in the name. Uh, works in runtime on device or in the simulator, semi-transparent, windows supported, draggable, uh, and so on. And then we have Flare Engine. Flare Engine is actually, the, the initially makes you look, eh, what's this about? But this is a code-free platforming game engine. So if you want to add functionality to your platforming game, things like interactables, uh, special abilities like wall walking, advanced platformer, AI. You see here you've got this visual AI behavior tree set up for it. So uh, you can theoretically add a bunch of functionality to a platformer style game with no coding required. Uh, and then we have uh, the farming RPG kit. Yeah, I did not miss one. Uh, farming RPG kit. Uh, so if you are creating a farming style game, it's got everything you need there. Uh, only for the built-in pipeline, however. Uh, so if you're creating a farmer style game, you see it's doing things, character customization, save system time, and so on, planting of crops. And so basically it's a framework creating uh, Farmville style games. Uh, next up, we have another shooter framework. This one is the FPS framework. Uh, this one is available for all three major pipelines and is an advanced system for creating FPS style games. Uh, so it's basically doing the work for you if that's the, the kind of game you're looking to create. So we have a multiplayer one and then this one. I don't know uh, if this one specifically supports multiplayer or not or if there's a bit of overlap between the two things that they are offering. Um, but yeah, that's it. The quick start bundle, uh, pretty impressive amount of haul for a single dollar purchase. Uh, again, here's what you're getting. If you're curious in terms of what you may already own from previous bundles, here's me logged in. And you're going to see I already own Spum, uh, Cartoon GUI Pack, Smart Lighting 2D, 
Uh, and that's it from previous bundles. So a lot of this seems to be at least new to Unity bundles and probably not featured in too many Humble bundles either as well. So for a dollar, you could definitely do worse. So let me know what you think of this bundle. And that's it. Short, quick video. Let me know. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.